scripture reading come from the book of Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, starting with the 14th verse. And the word is recorded. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the earth. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Our wise and eternal God, we come with humble hearts this morning. Some of us have heavy hearts this morning. Some of us are just in need of you. So we come, Lord, asking that your presence be with us. We come, Father God, giving you thanks for the precious life and memories that you have given us of our beloved brother, Barry Taylor. And Father God, we know that you are God of all-knowing. A God that does not make mistakes. So God, help us, Lord, to understand the things that we do not know anything about. Strengthen us, oh God. Be with us. And I pray that you wrap your arms around this wife and this family. Give them everything they in need of us. And we are careful to give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. It's in Jesus Christ's name that we do pray. Amen. We will continue in our service. We will have acknowledgments from Sister Shatters and Sister Taylor. I'm not going to try to do those first names. Mm -hmm. And then we will follow with the reading of the obituary. Amen. 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 Tomorrow starts without me, and I'm not there to see. If the sun should rise and find your eyes, I'll fill with tears for me. I wish so much you wouldn't cry the way you did today while thinking of the many things we didn't get to say. I know how much you love me, as much as I love you, and each time that you think of me, I know you'll miss me too. When tomorrow starts without me, don't think we're far apart, for every time you think of me, I'm right here in your heart. The family of the late Barry O'Shea Taylor would like to thank their many friends for the act of kindness shown during the passing of all their ones. May God continue to bless and keep each and every one of you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.
wish that one more. Oh Lord, I'm gonna miss him. Oh Lord, I'm gonna miss that boy. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Save me. It's okay. Save me. Let's take a few minutes. To oh man, I'm gonna miss that one. Sally, read the obituary. Man, I'm gonna miss him. Oh, man. It reminds us that there's a time and a season for all things. There is a time to live, but then there's a time to die. There's a time to rejoice and a time to cry. God don't make any mistakes. Old man Job said, the Lord give it. Yes, sir. And the Lord take it away. Take it away. Yes, sir. Bless it. <laughs> Be the name of the Lord. My Lord. Yes. We're going to get through this. As we've gotten through our loved ones that's already gone. We're going to get through this. I'm learning. God, there's only two things God can't do. One, he can't lie. Amen. And then he can't fail. We're going to get through this. But I want to pray while I'm standing here for my family. Spirit of the living God. Fall fresh on us. Some of us have been through so much that we need you to renew us, revive us, regenerate us, re-strengthen us, renew our minds and our thoughts. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on us. Almighty God, it's in the precious name of Jesus that I ask you now to comfort every heart, every mind, every spirit, only as you can. I thank you, Father God, for having shared this life with this cousin. Thank you. We're only strangers passing through here. Heaven is our home. And I say to the rest of the family, I hear Jesus saying every day, ready or not, here I come. Get your house in order. Get your house in order so that we are joined cousin on the other side. May God bless you. May God keep you is my prayer. Amen. 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 I bring you greetings from the Moss and Moss about the church the system pastor down there. Um, I've known Beverly for some 40 some years. I worked at Bible School with him for years. And I just retired five years ago for 40 years. Mm. Same place. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But I just had to get up and say uh, that I've been better. We go back a long way. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a lot of years ago. We did a lot of fishing and 
Mm -hmm. Stuff like that together. We had the good times and as well as the bad times. Yeah, yeah. But we all have to realize that one day, this day is going to come for all of us. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I remember reading something in the Bible where it says that the Lord said, we got to make preparation. Yeah. Yeah. We got to do it now. Yeah. Yeah. Because now is the time that we keep gathering at the same place. Right along. So often, it seems like it's every day. And we just don't know when our time is going to come. Yeah. Right along. So my prayer today is from all that stand here today, make preparations. Yeah. Yeah. Don't wait till tomorrow. Because tomorrow might be too late. Amen. 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 Thank you, men of God, for those words of encouragement, which is much needed. And we will now have another selection by Minister Corey Gaines, followed by the words of encouragement.
as I stand before you. I don't take this lightly. And I thank God for this opportunity to share with you on this day at this hour. We have heard the songs of Zion <coughs> to our God. We have heard God's word through scripture. <coughs> and we have heard the prayers to our God. And it is now time for us to hear from our God. Yes. And there is a word that can be found in the book of Romans. Chapter 15 verse 4. And the word is recorded. For whatsoever things were written before time were written for our learning <coughs> that we through strength and comfort of the scriptures we might have hope. Although it seems we are living our lives in an unfamiliar world of uncertainties, yeah. chaos, yeah. immoralities, mm. and corruption, yeah. the Christian, through scriptures, is called to not lose hope. Yes, sir. That's right. <clears throat> For we are in this world, hmm. but not a part of this world. Yeah. And if truth be told, if there was ever a time we needed hope, hmm. it's now. Yeah. yeah. And it is during these times of uncertainty. We must trust and stand firm on the word of God. Yes, sir. We live our lives purposely to give God praise. For it is in the Christian's life that others see the glory of God. And in the conclusion of the book of Romans, chapter 15 Paul's intentions and underlying message here was to convey for the Jews and the Gentiles to be united in praise yeah, yeah. and worship together one God yeah. it threads together that the strong should support the weak yeah. so that together they may praise God. Yeah. In other words, Paul is simply saying, take on the form of humility, not thinking of yourself more highly than you ought. And Paul continues throughout the book of Romans that it is God's gospel concerning his son the Messiah. Yeah. It declares he is the resurrection from the dead. Yes, sir. The death and resurrection of the Messiah and the installation as Lord are taught throughout Scripture. For Scriptures were given to us to be the means of strength yeah. encouragement yeah. 
and hope. And Paul commands us that the strong are under obligation yes, sir. to bear with the weakness That's right. of the powerless. Yes, sir. Paul's not suggesting that this weakness is some form of failure, but they who in this moment possess this weakness, it is at this one particular time that we have become powerless. Paul says we have an obligation yeah. to strengthen them. And if truth be told, you and I too have experienced sometime or another a weakness in our lives. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Whether it was a loss of a job, yeah. spouse, mm -hmm. home, the sad news of terminal illness, yeah. or maybe a lost one, lost loved one, or someone dear to you. We all have visited yeah. some form of weakness in our life. And it is surely a time we needed strength. Yeah. yeah. Scripture demonstrates this strength in Romans 5 and 6. When we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. For Christ did not please himself for the shame and horror of the cross. Uh huh. He did not spur himself, nor seek his own will. He endured the contradictions of sinners against himself. Yes, sir. He emptied himself and made himself of no reputation. He set himself as an example whose life was a self-denying and self-displeasing, for he bore the infirmity of the week. Yes, yeah. Therefore, when the midnight hour has come and nothing seems to make any sense, when the tears won't stop rolling down and the days seem to be too long, call on the name of Jesus. Yes. For the Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? For the time of trouble he shall hide me yeah. in his pavilion. Yes, sir. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. Wait hmm. on the Lord. Yeah. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen. strengthen your heart. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Wait, Wait, I say, on the Lord. Yes, sir. For it is God who knows all our struggles. Mm. And he is willing and able to supply all our needs. Yeah. And in due time, he shall strengthen your heart. Yes. Paul continues in his appeal saying not only does scripture teach us about strength but scripture was written also to give us encouragement That's right. and Paul shines light on this command of encouragement with the emphasis of being lifted up through mutual support and encouraging one another in the Lord. We often find this act of encouragement as we experience worship and shared fellowship. Our shared worship is mutual with one voice in a quest for a deeper unity. And out of this unity is the manifestation of the doctrine of justification by faith that all who confess Jesus as Lord and believe that God raised him from the dead 
belong to the same worship family. Yeah. We all eat from the same table. And it is here at the heart of Paul's appeal. He expresses the importance of the unity of love. For the family that encourages others for the edification of the kingdom and the family of shared worshipers are identified as God's people. And God's people, we are commanded to taking care of one another. Yeah. Our encouragement to others gives one confidence to have strength during trials and affliction. This encouragement should always instruct and express our confidence in God. And scripture was also written to give us hope. Yeah. This same hope is one of the abiding virtues of Christian faith. It is a biblical hope that anticipates a favorable outcome under God's grace and mercy. Yes, sir. In other words, it is the confidence that we have that God has done for us in the past. Yeah. We anticipate he will do it in the future. Yeah. Uh -huh. The psalmist puts it like this. Many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand. But I know who holds tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know who holds my hand. My Lord, Amen. thank you. And this hope is under the influence of divine grace. It is the promise secured in Christ with the means of enjoying it through his blood and righteousness. It is the declaration of God's free grace that by this declaration and those who partake in it are all encouraged to hope in the Lord yeah. and to rejoice in the hope of the glory of God that through strength and comfort of the scriptures we may endure and we have this hope through scriptures written and recorded a long ago that over 2,000 years ago That's right. that dark Friday hmm. the glory of God was revealed for God gave his only begotten son yeah. born of a virgin fully man and fully God for the son of man who knew no sin hmm. became sin that we would become the righteousness of God. He decided himself to be wounded for our transgressions. Yeah, my Lord. He was bruised for our iniquities. Yeah. He voluntarily laid down his life yes, sir. to be crucified to fulfill his father's will. And it is recorded <clears throat> that as he hung on a hill called Calvary, about the sixth hour, darkness fell all over the land. The sun refused to shine. Yeah. And about the ninth hour, as he succumbed to his death, he cries out in agonies and released his spirit. Yes. And the scripture says, the, the curtain in the temple tore from top to bottom. Mm. The mountains began to shake at its very foundation. Yeah, yeah. Rocks were split apart. Mm. Yeah. It was one of the most humiliating, shameful, and excruciating deaths. Mm. But glory, glory be to God. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Hope is not dead. Mm. For it is recorded long ago that the story does not end here. For early Sunday morning, yeah. a new hope yes, was born. Sir. He has risen. Death 
has been defeated. Yes, sir. And victory has been won. He now sits on the heavenly throne with all power in his hand. Yes, sir. For God is in his holy temple, and God is on his holy throne. Thank you, Lord. Mercy yeah. has taken a bow, and grace has taken a seat. Yeah. Hope has been delivered. And this same hope you and I have today Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. has been the testimony of many. Yeah. For some have called him a bridge over troubled water. Reverend. A bond in Gilead. Yeah. Yes, sir. The rose of Shire. Yes, sir. Yeah. The lily in the valley. Yeah. The wheel in the middle of my the wheel. My wonderful counsel. Yeah. My rock in my salvation. Yeah. My provider. Yes. Sir. My healer. Yeah. My deliverer. Yeah. My strength. Yeah. My comforter. Yeah. My hope. But God has given him a name. Yes, sir. That's above every name. Yeah. And upon this name, every knee shall bow. Yeah. Of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth. And that every tongue shall confess right. that he is Lord yes, sir. to the glory of God the Father. And his name is Jesus. Jesus. Yes, sir. Jesus. It's the sweetest name I know. And there's nobody, nobody greater, nobody greater than the name of Jesus. This is your message, that you have hope in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Two prayers. Before I close, I like to give some personal words of encouragement to my sister Peaches Merlin Howard Carrie Amen. Amen. Don Stacy and to this entire family this is hard for me sometimes to do when I I have so many close friends and I consider my family. But I want to leave you words that Jesus said himself. Let not your hearts be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. For in my Father's house, there are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. So I go away and prepare a place for you. If I go prepare a place for you, I will come back and receive you unto myself. That where I go, you also may go. May these words of comfort be with you in the days to come. And may God bless you and keep you. You wrap his loving arms around you. Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen.